We about to get in. It's about to get in, in. Everybody get in here. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Let's get this thing cracking. Let's get this thing cracking. The playlist tonight. <laughs> My co-host is crazy. The co-host is going to be as crazy. You can, you can use a little more of that. The, cra- the co-host is going to be as crazy as the goddamn conversation. I promise you. Man, the sisters done left snacks in here. All right, we good. Let me get on that side. I got to set up. Here you go. And then you can make sure it's... Uh, You can give me that, um, you can give me those headphones. Thank you. Can I get a um, paper towel? know what it is you already know what it's about to be i want to have the real discussions every show you listen to is a conversation every show you listen to of the voice of reason is a conversation we want participation i'm bringing in a couple of brothers today mansions Oh, the Mansion series is about to happen tonight. I'm bringing in my brother Jeff Brown, comedian Jeff Brown. Uh, you've you've seen him on the show a couple of times. You've heard him call in a couple of times. Jeff Brown, very, very intelligent brother, sharp brother. Uh, but I'm also bringing in good brother, solid brother, Riza Islam. He is out there, Riza. Islam. Let me pronounce his name correctly. Riza Islam. He is a soldier whose boots are on the ground. And tonight's topic, man, I had to frame it in such a way because it's very important that we have these type of conversations in light of what's going on in the world currently and how world events may adversely affect us now i've said this a thousand times i said this a million times uh you know the state of or quality of our reaction is in direct relation to our ability to unify you want us to vote for karen bass but we are a disaggregate people in many ways and i'm not saying that black people should be monolithic. There's no people on planet Earth that's monolithic. However, you you do see varying degrees of unity. You see it with the Asian community. 
You definitely see it within the Jewish community. Level, listen, look at how many times the dollar recycles in our community. It has been broken down, uh, reported. The stats are, right? The black dollar recycles one time and then it leaves the black community. In comparison to the Jewish community, it recycles 18 times. You've heard these conversations. So, being a man, you know they say 50 is the new 30. I'll take it. I remember 30. I was confused. But, you, you've heard people say that, you know, relationships in our community is a key component to how we come together. And I've heard people say it. I've heard people tout unity, 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 unity. Well, I believe relationships are a key to our ability to unify or disunify the quality of it. I'm not asking for us to be monolithic in the way that we think. I'm not asking us to be robotic. I'm not asking us to all think the same thing and agree to everything. But what I'm saying. If we had a council that everybody respected, a group within our group that everybody respected, right? Some type of hierarchical uh, men and women where we come together and say, this is for our greater good. A council that can't be sold or bought. <laughs> Lord have mercy. What are you talking about tonight, Zoe? Listen to me. Can black relationships, listen carefully now, can black relationships be the Messiah we've all been looking for? So many, we, we looking for somebody to save us. Can we be the Messiah? that we've all been looking for? Could unity be the Messiah we've all been looking for? It's an interesting question. It's an interesting take. Can better relationships actually be the Messiah we've all been looking for? Special guest tonight, good brother Reza Islam and my brother Jeff Brown. Reza's my brother too. Yes, he is. I love Reza to death. And I'm so happy that the brother was able and available, because you know he's busy, to be here. And I asked the question, how will black men provide food and water in the upcoming water and food shortages? Because black men always, you know, in order to be a black man, you got to be a protector and a provider, right? How are we going to do that? that? That alone should point to the fact that we are servants to the system, yes? How can black men close the seemingly widening gap between him and his woman? What strategies will black men employ to close the widening technology gap, the widening wealth gap? Oh, Lord. Are modern day men, black men, leaking testicular fortitude? The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, we lack testicular fortitude. Are we leaking it? Is that why our women don't respect us? When we come forward, Zoe Williams, the voice of reason, is about to take this thing to the next level. The VOR is on fire tonight. Thanks for supporting us in year one. All right, honey, you got to get that seat to Jeff. That's going to be risky. No, you're good. We done sprayed down everything. As we commemorate our one year anniversary. Jeff Breezy! My nigga. Park. Love you, Jeff. Jeff Breezy in the house. Jeff Breezy. You don't know how to put Instagram on your phone? First off, I'm tired of you being old. Jeff, I'm tired of you being old. Tools and Fuse, y'all got to show up in a monstrous way tonight. 
online peer groups, one-on-one -on -one crisis support, and more. Visit the Cal Hope Painted Brain booth to learn more about their local... Tools and Fuse, y'all gotta show up and show out. Everybody hit that like button. Everybody hit that like button. Tools and Fuse in the building. DeMarco Holloway, Nzinga211, Jamar, I see y'all. Everybody in the chat room, none but love, none but respect, none but appreciation. Samo Hill in the building, Violet Sky in the building, True Monger in the building. All moderators, show love and appreciation to everybody that breaks us off some twos and fuse. Nothing but love here. Trash Gordon 82 in the building. Chris Demetrius from St. Louis in the building. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, if you could get a couple of bottles of water for the brothers. Okay, this is the lightning round. Category save our water. Kiki from Cali. Are you ready? Oh, well, let's do it. True or false? Cleaning dishes by hand uses less water than a dishwasher. Uh, true. I have you. Using a broom or leaf blower instead of an oven to clean outside saves less water. Save six gallons per minute by not using a. Oh, no. Bye. Test your skills and learn more. Water saving tips at saveourwater.com. Make it your biz to take the quiz. Finding the right person for the job isn't easy. Just ask someone who hired a karate teacher to trim the edges. Don't worry, another few chops should do it. And Reza, we spray down everything, brother. Shouldn't just leave the crib any kind of way. Oh, yeah, this, this is going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is a mansions, oh, man. man. Let me see. How do I get everybody? Does he have uh, does he, does he want? I, mean, I, I don't need it. Oh, okay. If, oh, no. <laughs> How much battery you got? Do you have enough battery? I'm plugged up, Jeff. <laughs> You can't take it out. It's Jeff, perfect. don't hate on my hey. You're don't fan. hate on my rigging. You're I had to rig it. That's at homie vision right now. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a. <laughs> okay, now turn it. Yeah. Now you be LA. Yeah, this is. Black home today. Good, that they've never heard good, before. Going on, Jeff? Good, brother. Drinking tea to your life? I am not. Nah, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, yeah, seriously? Juice and like. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the VOR, Voice of Reason, live on KBLA Talk 1580. Man. We in the building. Brothers gonna work it out, public enemy. <laughs> As is commonplace, I always tell folk. Let me get you right. And as is commonplace, I always tell folk that the playlist is my co-host. <laughs> right? But today, I got the real brothers in the in the building Come on. who are really in the streets. Come on. How about that? Doing the real work. Come on. So, Reza, let me just let's just kick it off like we normally do, brother. Yes, sir. Today's topic. Can better relationships, and I'm talking about for black folk, for us. This is Juneteenth, right? Yes, sir. Can better relationships actually be the Messiah we've been waiting for? Mm. 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 E mm. That's powerful. Do you see? Because mm. the work that I've been doing, and it's been relationships. I, I've written books. Mm -hmm. I've worked with the likes of brothers like such as yourself. Yes, sir. I've worked with therapists. I've mm -hmm. worked with psychiatrists. Mm -hmm. I've created documentaries. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting to me, every time I delve into this thing, I find that 
if we were together, mm-hmm. right? I was just recently on Tavis Smiley's show, and I was brought in for a, a subject. Why are 50% of black men mm-hmm. not voting for Karen Bass? And the way the article was written, I uh-huh. took a little bit of offense to it because it's like, mm-hmm. oh, the, it's the black man's fault for everything. Right. Mm-hmm. And I said, why is it that we assume we should be unified when A, most black men, it get y'all check me if I'm wrong here. Most black men don't really get down with the institutions of white America. Correct. Voting, medicine, mm-hmm. education. Most mm-hmm. of us are like, oh, that's some white stuff. Right. Right. Correct. But then there's this desire to say, well, y'all should just vote for the sister because she's a sister. Right. But as public enemy said, every brother ain't a brother because <laughs> <laughs> it was the hand of a black man who killed the man, Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. That's in his mm-hmm. rhymes. That's mm-hmm. Chuck. So Chuck and, and I'm not saying anything to besmirch the character or the work that the sister Karen Bass has put in. Right. I'm simply saying. There is a rift in our society Mm -hmm. between black men and black women. Correct. How do we close that gap? RZA, then Jeff. First thing is um, black women who follow and do things according to the Caucasian feminized mind is one we cannot trust. This is why primarily we don't look at one another entirely as we should because we recognize something that's off. Mm. The honor of Minnesota's Farrakhan said Many of you are no longer black men or women. You are white men and women in black skin. So although Sister Karen Bass has done uh, some good work, the institution of which she represents, and I'm, I'm saying this as someone who was awarded, interestingly enough, by Congress with Karen Bass, and particularly her signature on my award. Mm. So I, I'm going to speak this truth uh, strictly because the institution that she represents is not one that we can trust, period. So because of that, it's kind of difficult for us to say, well, it is a sister. Well, the institution that is paying her, that she is representing, that she has literally the tag for, et cetera, is the very thing that we can't trust. So we may be able to trust her as an individual, but the institution itself, we cannot necessarily trust. Mm, Jeff Brown? The Cincinnati Bengals Uh cannot trust (laughs) the Seattle Seahawks when they say, here's our plays for this Sunday. Number two, no one, hear this, no one running for office will ever get me to go into a booth, close a curtain behind me, and pull a lever until you can point to me on your agenda what it is that is for black people specifically. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you're doing for everybody. Mm. I don't care, uh, dear Asians who are listening, God bless you, but I don't care about your problems. Dear uh, Armenians who are listening, peace be to you. I don't give a fiddler's finger about what you're going through. Black people, if mm. you, and, and, I, and I would love to talk to the sister directly, directly, if you could tell me what it is you've done, what it is you're lobbying for, mm-hmm. and what it is you're doing mm-hmm. directly that benefits black children in school. Mm-hmm. That benefits single mothers, that benefits brothers behind bars, that benefits brothers, not that can't find jobs, that cannot find vocations. Until mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you tell me what you're doing about that, mm-hmm. I'm going to be at the house smoking on something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number two, with regard to uh, black relationship, brother, the work we doing, and I saw it on Brother Reese on another channel. Uh, where he was doing an interview with some younger cats. And as he was speaking, it was common stuff to us. Mm -hmm. But we saw them lights turning on. Mm -hmm. I can see the lights on their faces turning on. Mm -hmm. With regard to relationship, and I hate to to draw such a hard line, if you are black and over 40 and are a female or a male that is not actively, actively taking the time to work with somebody that you don't think is related to you, mm-hmm. mm. then I'm writing you off. Mm. <laughs> You're written off. Mm. If you if, if Big Mama need a ride to the club, she written off. Now <laughs> l- let me hit you with this. This uh, this is like I me and Tavis we sit down and we talk, and I told him I said brother I'm apolitical. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I'm not a po- I'm not a political pundit. I'm not into politics that way. Right. Not just because I don't trust the government. Let's just look. Right. That's one reason. It's deeper than that. But it's right. deeper than that, right? Yes. And 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 I'm going to question everything mm-hmm. based off of what I studied, right? I'm going to question everything. Mm-hmm. Nothing is not going to be scrutinized by me, right? Mm-hmm. With that being said, there are people who don't like me having these types of discussions on this channel Mm -hmm. because it's not in lockstep with the progressive Mm -hmm. message. (laughs) Now, let me just say this. Let me... me, Tavis ain't the most progressive person on planet Earth. Right. And it was black folk who tried to deride Tavis Mm -hmm. for having the same conversations him and Cornell West were bringing up with regards to Barack Obama. Wow. What you going to do mm-hmm. for black folk now that black folk delivered you that seat? Mm-hmm. Now, I got an uncle that's 72, some 73 years old. I said, Unc, I'm going to be over with Tavis Smiley. He said, oh, forget him. I don't like Tavis because what he said about uh, uh, Obama. <laughs> I said, hey, but he looked out for your nephew. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, I guess I can. <laughs> I guess I can be cool with him there. I, I said, but listen, why shouldn't we call these politicians to the floor? Absolutely. And why shouldn't that be a part of the quote unquote progressive mm-hmm. movement? Mm-hmm. We got to ask real questions Absolutely. of those who say they represent us. Rizza? First thing is, no other group of people ever in the history of ever is attacked for questioning their own people as it pertains to their motive and as it pertains to what they're going to do for them. Everybody gets to question. Mm. That's number one, except black people because we're supposed to be some niggas and just take whatever we're offered. How about that? As a matter of fact, listen, come on. matter of fact, no, we don't give you substance. We give you a symbol of substance. Mm. Nigga, just take it. <laughs> don't it look good mm. to have somebody in that seat? Barack Obama mm. was one of the best, best, and when I say best, I mean one of the best wishes that could have come true. Can you go into wish? Because I did it on Tavis show. He was blown away. <laughs> Brother, Vote? It means to means a wish. And, and that's something me and Zoe were talking about before, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Because I said, wait a minute. You allow, remember, allow a person. Aren't you happy you got a black man in office? No, I would be happy with someone who has a black mind who is going to do things for black people. Even if that were a white person who said, look, we're going to give you all this land, give you all the stuff that you asked for because you deserve it, we owe it to you, etc. But I'd rather not a symbol with no substance. Barack Obama got into office because he was sponsored by bankers, Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers, etc. He was selected, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, before he was elected. I have to say this about someone who was a community organizer. He is a constitutional fundamentalist. Yes, he did beautiful work in Chicago. Yes, he did beautiful work when it came to being in Congress. He did beautiful work. But when it came to being in that very position, that he will not be able to execute as he was not able to execute anything for black people because that is the seat of Pharaoh. Mm. That is Satan's chair. Mm. You cannot do things Mm. for black people from a seat that is dedicated to the oppression of black people. It's a absolute quagmire. Mm. It is an opposite circumstance. So people who speak the truth when it comes to those who represent us are the people who we should applaud because I for damn sure if I'm going to vote for you. I for damn sure if I grew up with you. I for damn sure if you went to the college. I for damn sure if you look like me, you act like me, you wore your Timberlands, hopping out the plane as if you did something for us. Come on, Larry. You did all this stuff. And if you're going to sit here and give me all this symbolic gesture, then you need to back it up with substance. Everyone gets to question Chinese, Asian, Australian, white, Mexican. Everyone gets to be questioned. No one is above question, just like no one is above critique. And if you say you are standing on behalf of black people, then you need to actually do that with actual substance and not just symbolism. Mm. Jeff Brown. Okay, first let me pick this bone. <laughs> you guys okay, speak got to right into the mic. I got, I got two friends. I'm on the show with two friends, and I have a pick a bone with friend number one. Uh, <laughs> what did I do? Okay, first, <laughs> you keep having me follow... <laughs> Just Farrakhan fortified uh, <laughs> Malcolm X, literal Malcolm X 2.0. Oh, you can do it. Keep following it. Okay. You can do it. That's not the point. <laughs> anyway, anyway, like my brother said, I like to say that there are no clean fish in a dirty bowl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. bowl is dirty. Come on. This system was never made for you. Dear black voters that are up 
set right now, you probably have gray hair, which means you're more than likely out of the game. I'm only talking to people who don't have gray hair. But uh, dear gray hair people who are getting angry with this right now, uh, I need you to contemplate the fact that your right to vote is voted on. Um, wow. You, you are asking, you are asking a system to undo itself for you. Mm-hmm. It's on. never gonna. Come on. It's never gonna. Come on. That's that's not what this is for. And I don't think I don't think anybody that doesn't have gray hair will do the following. Politics will cease to exist in its present form when the very notion of waffling appears and the people who <laughs> hear it cancel you now. The first time you stand up and do some old mealy mouth, meaningless 200 words to get an applause break that ends with the word change. As soon as you do that, there is a group of people who don't have gray hair that are going to recognize that and say, I don't trust you. I don't care what you run for. President or dog catcher, I'm not voting for you next. Mm. When you take all the perks out, when you start paying politicians like you pay teachers, then the real people will show up. When the airplane gas gets out, when the uh, mm-hmm. private escort slush funds leave, mm-hmm. when the people stop taking we want change as an answer. Come on. Uh, when you, people alive. Okay. Bro, yeah, there you go. Uh, 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 do you mean from the guy who literally <laughs> smeared Dr. King's blood on his shirt, that guy? Oh, uh, man. Go ahead, Jeff. Go how, ahead. Did you, how did you... How did you... Here you go. Here you go. How did you get here today, Brother Reese? Did you drive? Yes, sir. Did you drive, did you drive Brother Zone? Yes, sir. I drove. We drove three cars. Do you know why we drove those cars? Because time after time, we have come outside, got in those cars, and they started and took us where we are going. Mm-hmm. Democrats, I ask you, how many times have you gotten in the Democratic car and went not a damn place? Ooh. Ooh. But you keep coming out to that car. I'll close with this. You are the same pitiful people who say, a broke clock is right twice a day. Now, let me tell you how stupid that is. There are 86,400 seconds in one day. We'll just use seconds as the lowest time constant. There are 86,400 of them. So that means there are 86,400 opportunities to be right about the international time. And you can only get it twice. That's because you suck. (laughs) The VOR is on fire tonight. Live on Tavis Smiley's KBLA Talk 1580. I'm in the building right now. We're having a real great conversation. And it's just getting started. The number to dial is 1-800-920-1580 if you want to join the discussion. Again, this is a non-judgmental zone. You can call in and speak your piece. In order to have a sound plan, you need a multitude of different opinions. When we come forward, we're going to share ours. Black on. What up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like old song oh, right Yeah. Hey, y'all, I would be on Instagram myself, but I can't figure it out on my phone. Hey, Rizzo's people. Hey, y'all got to hit that like button. Ooh. Tools and Fuse crew, y'all hit that super chat button. Man, what, uh, what's the number again? one 800 920 if you know any Jasper ass shade tree house coons, have them call in. Now, who would have thought the only, per- the first person to curse will be RZA. Will be RZA. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no cursing. RZA said nigga twice. He <laughs> said, okay. you niggas out there. Y'all uh, niggas is tripping. I think I meant God. I, I said, we were exactly My engineer one. said, don't worry, I caught oh, it. I, oh, I caught it. Like, <laughs> he said, <laughs> I'll tell you he what. said, don't worry, I got I, it. Just <laughs> make you put on your catcher's mitt. <laughs> no cursing. Oh, this okay. is AM radio. You know, I, <laughs> I have his no ass in there diving. No cursing. Yet. I would have never thought yes, Rizzo would. I, I said, yeah. I ain't got to tell Rizzo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, you good, I brother. Because no we cooking. We cooking. Yeah. So remember, we're going we gonna to hit on a myriad of topics. Absolutely. And yes. what I'm going to do is set up the question 
put a little context yeah. on it, throw it to y'all, sure. and then y'all just, yeah. you just do what y'all do. Send it to questions, then uh, give, it, give it to uh, 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 the freaking tiger in the cage here. <laughs> Let him eat all the meat off the bone. <laughs> Jeff, come on, man. Like, <laughs> knock it off, Jeff. This dude, I, love I, this, I need man. you to knock, knock it off. Man. <laughs> this is what it, this is, this what, what it is how bro. we started. Absolutely. This is what it is. Man. man. There's a room no. full of red, black, and green lanterns man, right now. That's right. Green lantern, I like that. Uh, no, red, black, and green lanterns. Which one is the green lantern? Huh? All of us. <laughs> We're all red, black, oh, so and green lanterns. We got all three colors. We all got all three colors on, but we lanterns. We lanterns. We red, lanterns. black, and green lanterns. Okay. I love that. Yes. Oh, man. About to get back into it, y'all. Make sure you call in. Go. go to YouTube. Watch the YouTube live right now. Right? Reason gets a pass. It's almost 340 people in now. Yeah. Yo. In here watching. What's happening? He gonna be on my show soon. It's a show called Giraffe Balls. Now, I'm gonna be doing the smoking, and he gonna do it, like, away from me, so he ain't gonna get a contact. There's no smoke on his side, just me. I will be on Brother Jeff Brown's show. It is called Giraffe Balls. Yeah, right? again, hi, it's Giraffe Balls, and we talk about whatever. <laughs> So we gonna talk wait. about we gonna talk about the other Aunt Maxine that he be dealing with. Oh come on, come on, come on! That's a, that's a black lantern. <laughs> Y'all late with that one. Stress and emotions. So this is uh, it's AM radio. The app is on the phone as well, right? The uh, KBLA app. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, download the KBLA app. Black owned by Tavis Smiley. Black owned. Very critical that we support. That's what it is. Who man. is that from from Chicago? Maynard Dixon. What's happening? Sixty is a Damon. Cross <laughs> street from Bloom Park. Used to get chased from Sixty Third and Austin. Hey man, I swear to God, every brother I know from Chicago remember their address. Yeah, that's and right. Were, and you know we're why? recited. Yeah. You know why? Because there's only one Seventy Eighth in Dorchester. Name there's on. only one. It's on. not like L.A. at all. It's like if I tell you I'm from Fifty Six and Rose, I know right. right where that is. Five Twenty Five West Tisha, Compton, See? California, Richland Farm. There right? you go. That's where I there you go. Right? Come on, man. Live at 30. 30 seconds. Make sure I go to YouTube right now. We're about to go back home. Go to YouTube, watch it live, call in. This number right here. 800 1580 KBLA Radio. You get a free ticket to the baseball game. Free parking along with prices. That's my intern. I love her name. I love her name. What? Arabia Sheep. Arabia. Yes. Here we go. Y'all good? Is that good? Yes, sir. About to go into it. Oh, man. Who put this, uh, this playlist together? Damn. Of course. Of course. Of course. Come on. Come on. Damn. Man, and I wish y'all could hear this. Back, back on, back on. Don't. Mm. Come on, it's man. Juneteenth. Man, 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 man. <laughs> that playlist, man, is my co-host. It's a beast. The Voice of Reason is live, man. We turned up tonight. Can better relationships actually be the Messiah we've all been looking for mm. how will black men provide food and water in the upcoming food and water shortages oh come on if you're going to be the provider and the protector who provides you with your water bro come on come on how can black men close the seemingly widening gap between him and his woman is society wrenching us apart? And what you gonna do about it, bruh? <laughs> what strategy will black men employ to close the widening wealth gap, provider? You have a question. Uh, we, we gotta, are modern day black men leaking Testicular fortitude. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on with it. Come on. Hey, shout out to Soul Brother number one. Come yes. on. Come on with it. Yes. Come on with it. Come, if we going to talk about it. Come on with it. And I, listen, man, to me, it's spiritually immature to say, oh, you putting too much on brothers. No. No. 
what is our role then, brother? Exactly. Mm. Talk to me. Let me go to Jeff first, and oh, then yeah. let, <laughs> and <laughs> you're gonna do that. Now I'm Jeff all set. <laughs> I'm trying to get in my head. Okay, just think, man. Just relax. Nah, go ahead. Jeff, you on it? Okay. Um, wow. Uh, I've asked this question a number of years, brother. So you 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 already know, mm -hmm. uh, dear sisters, that judge your man by the money he makes. What will you judge him by when the dollar collapses? Mm. Uh, Come on. First, let's look at my let's look at my vision and where he's going to have to sit. We're going to have to define where he sits first. Mm. What is being built? Uh, look around your major cities. It is no coincidence that they are all being gentrified at the exact same time. Right over here by where Alonzo got killed and training day right under there, right Come over on. there. Uh, right where they shot Love and Basketball, right Come over on. there by the mall. I saw a white boy just now walking a Cocker Spaniel in socks. It's being gentrified. <laughs> it's socks. S-O-C-K-S, which means ain't no glass on the ground. Wow, he's extremely comfortable. Yes, well, yes, sir. Wow. Extremely comfortable in a place you couldn't pay him to go five years ago. Right. All the cities are going to be sprawling metropolises of mm. opulence and convenience and everywhere else is going to be beyond the Thunderdome. Mm. So we are going to need advocates between the Thunderdome mm. and nowhere. And, and and between the Thunderdome and Paradise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where are you going to work, bro? Mm -hmm. Are you in the Thunderdome? Or are you in paradise? And either way, we are going to connect because all of us are going to have to connect because all of us who do not connect, all of us who do not know to start growing food mm -hmm. now, all of us who do not know that if you have two bathtubs in your house, one of them should be full of water and once a week you should drop a bleach tablet in it. <laughs> a prepper's approach. Right, right. <laughs> you got a tub, it should be full of water right now. Right, right now. Don't drink it. Because you're going to need that water right there. I'm telling mm -hmm. somebody that need to hear that. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to start thinking like that. Everybody, one person takes a truck and buys all the groceries for this block. Mm -hmm. And then all the groceries for next block. Mm -hmm. And when we start doing that, we turn into a village. It's kind of hard to tax a village when right. all, everybody's raising the kids. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. where we got to go. Mm -hmm. Reza? First thing I'll say is when it comes to the independence of the people, number one, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad told you this a long damn time ago. Separation is our greatest and only solution. I don't know why you're acting as if this is new. If anybody's listening to this and you want to use the excuse of I'm currently in this generation, I didn't know. Well, now you know. We were supposed to separate from this system a long time ago from their spiritual institution to their educational system to their political system to their financial system to their agricultural system. That's why the food is destructive. It is meant to destroy you. You have to grow your own food. You have to feed your own people, educate your own people, provide and protect your own people. Everyone should know how to train. Everyone should know how to fight. Everyone should know how to protect and provide, including men and women, but the man is the primary. That's number one. Number two, there's a black man by the name of Moses West, a black man who created a atmospheric machine that produces water from the air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone should get with that brother before they attempt to take him out ASAP. Those machines, he has them, I believe they are up for purchase. Everyone should get one of those machines. He has shipped them to different parts of the world, including parts of Africa, including some of the islands, etc. We should all have that. That's number two. Number three, anything that you rely on your enemy for, your enemy will be able to control you with. Ooh. I want to say this one more time. Enemy, anything that you rely on your enemy for, your enemy will be able to control you with. Food, clothing, water, shelter, your job, your business, whatever it is, your sustenance, the only the ways that you maintain your security as a man, as a woman, as a family. You will be a slave and a perpetual prostitute, as we all are to one degree or another right now. We can't complain about nothing that we refuse to outcreate. Okay, I have to leave. My brain, my brain is broke. I am not good for any more information. We, we, we cannot complain about anything. We refuse to outcreate. I can complain about the white man all day long. That's traditional. It feels good. It sounds nice. It's attractive. It's hilarious. But at the same time, I have to be able to say, ah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I have my own that. As Jeff was saying, water containers, water filtration systems, we have that. Collecting rainwater, we are able to do that. Growing food inside of your homes, you're able to do that. People who are retired veterans start training the brothers on the block 
in tactics and maneuvers, mm -hmm. training them on self-defense, training them on survival tactics, how to find entries and exit ways, how to set up plan A, B, C, D in the case of a terroristic attack, also known as police raids unjustified. Uh, please understand, we have solutions, we have resources, we simply need to organize them. And if we work together as our physical body does, meaning our hearts, our lungs, our kidneys, etc., if we work collectively like our organs do, we will be successful, but as of right now, we are a little too busy game banging on each other in a way that if the body did it, we would all die instantly. Mm. So I'll leave that uh. on that point. And then the next point, which is, what was the last question? Not uh, only when it comes to the relationship, etc. <laughs> yes, yes. What if I not destroyed? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is left? <laughs> this situation that I've noticed, uh, we have now gone back into an era of gender wars. Yes. You know, yes, sir. Yes. Where black yes, sir. men and black women are attacking each other as if we own enough anything to justify us arguing with one another. Come on. Why the hell are you arguing with me? Why am I arguing with you? As if I own this block. Mm. As if we own the cities that we are in. As if we have enough banks. As if we have enough land. As if we have enough anything to justify the fact that we are currently at war and we can act as if we can go on autopilot like we have a whole army fighting it for us. We are currently in war and therefore we have no reason to be arguing with one another at all. We both have trauma. We both don't want to take responsibility or hold one another accountable. We want to point the finger at everybody else except for ourselves. So we have to come together. We have to humble ourselves and we have to get rid of all of the ignorance that we have used to perpetuate our own self-inflicted condition because the white man started it but we are perpetuating it. Mm -hmm. So it is now a time for us to point that last thing at us, which is that thumb, because we use all these other fingers to point at everybody else. Mm -hmm. Put the thumb on yourself. Mm -hmm. Put the thumb on you. <laughs> Jeff Brown, I'm going to put the thumb on you, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you what. I just, I just uh, destroyed everything. You just clean up. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> dude, we have been... Go back. Drop the needle, so to speak. Yes. On any... So William show online. I dare you to go back ten years. Mm -hmm. Right. We have been telling you Gems. that this is here. Yes. If you have less bags of beans over five pounds than you have Jordans, you're gonna perish. Come on. <laughs> Cannot eat Jordans. Go tomorrow. Those of you who don't drink. Wait, Jeff Brown, I got to hold you. <laughs> come on, come on. When we come forward, oh, come on. more of Jeff Brown and Reza Islam Day in here cooking. The come VOR on. is live. Man. All it takes is the second time around. Oh, man, man. this is old time, <laughs> man. Old this, time. this is <laughs> it. <laughs> what? Bruh. We're going to check out Jeff I tell Brown. you what. I tell you what, people. Why don't you lobby? For us to run down the hill on Bill Mark. Oh. Hey, look. Y'all bullshitting. Y'all got to hit that like button. It's too many people in here not to hit the like button. The like button is free. Hit the like button. Why wouldn't you do that? The game is too good. The information is too good. The knowledge is too good. And if you still petty and small-minded and competitive and disrespectful to your own people after watching this, you the problem. You the problem. You trying to get rich off of talking crap about other people? You the problem. Listen, the unity that I'm talking about or the relationship that I'm talking about being the Messiah, the relationship is not just between men and women. It's the relationship of the tribe, relationship of the community. The quality of the community relationship is weak. Do you understand me? Don't just sit in here and get this information and not participate. You can participate by hitting the like button. You understand? That's that's simple. I know it's tough and tight for everybody, but there's no reason you know the amount of people that's in here, we shouldn't have the same amount of likes. No you know reason. Who's here? You know who's sitting here that don't participate? Agents. Agents don't participate. Wow. The FBI don't press the like button. Wow. And they sit in here and soak this in. 
That's a fact. Wow. And you, and you work for the FBI, you need to be ashamed of your fucking self. Come on. Everybody hit it. Everybody hit it. Where are my moderators at? I'm mad at you. Get them up. Get them likes up. Listen, I only want people in here that are about moving forward, raising up. No competitive. We need collaborators. We need cooperators. We don't need no more intra-racial competition. We don't need that no more. If you're not an agent, hit the like button. God watching. God is watching. God watching. God watching. God watching. God watching. God watching. There we go. Back on, y'all. <laughs> Subscribe to read this song. God is watching. Ooh, Jamal. <laughs> Jamal said you bought some weed today. Buy some information. You under dig? <laughs> hey, my playlist. Here we go. Back on, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they all going hitting that like button. There you go. Huh. Uh. Wow. Mm. Do you mm. remember when hip hop Woo. taught us something? Come on, come on, come on. Talk about come it. On. Ladies and gentlemen, you. we've come forward. The VOR is live on KBLA Talk 1580. This is a black owned station. That's right. A black man, Tavis Smiley, come on. who's not afraid of pushing the conversation Shout forward. Out to Tavis. That's what That's we're right. doing tonight. I asked the question and I brought in people that I know can answer this question. And it's real simple. Can black relationships be the Messiah we've all been looking for? And I'm not just talking about the relationships we have with women. I'm talking about brothers relationship with each other. I'm talking about the, the community's relationship with itself. How do we heal it? Jeff Brown, and then Reza. This is a three-minute segment. So. Three-minute second. Okay, qu uh, uh, quick note. Those of you who are going to church this Sunday, who are uh, members of the Pearls and Chucks crew, those of you who are going to church this Sunday that uh, voted for, for Biden, those of you who are going to church this Sunday who uh, condemned Brother Tavis and uh, uh, my, my brother... Cornell. The, my brother Cornell. Mm. If you have not publicly come out and said that you are wrong, you are going to church with a lie on your soul. <laughs> now, uh, with, that, with, with that out the way... With that out the way... Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, I want a piece of them the Pearls and Chunks crew. As a matter of fact, I tell you who else I want a piece of. I can't even remember uh, what it is that we were directly talking about because of my preemptive glaucoma strike before I came in. But uh, I say this, I say this, and I say it on public radio, I will take on any political pundit, any talk show host, man, Tucker Carlson, I want a mm. piece of you, because it's a bigger bow tie sitting next to me. <laughs> I want, I want, yes, any three, any two, any three, I got my dudes. Y'all make them run down. We want to run down the hill mm. on this other Media. No, you know what, Jeff? Mm -hmm. Just take this segment. I'm gonna give the next one the reason. Okay, so yeah, finish. go ahead. Go ahead Jeff. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Keep talking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are gonna have to. Un we're gonna have to understand that voting is never the answer until the rest of your feces is collected. Mm. Wait, Jeff. Wait. I like that. Mm. Which Which is a bigger? Which is a more effective vote? A vote for the current toxic system as it is currently constructed. Or a vote for ourselves. Well, uh, vote mm. for yourself. Every time you sit down and, well, everybody wakes up in the morning a vegan. Uh, when you, <laughs> it's when you eat that it all falls apart. Uh, every time you put something in your body, you're voting for health or sickness. Every time that uh, you do something that you know is bad for yourself, you're voting for death. Uh, to me, uh, wow. voting is the wagon that takes your feces to town once you collect it. 
Mm. <laughs> and look, like that. Okay. Okay. So your segment is over. Oh, listen. Okay, I'll where was waste management? I like that. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Waste management. <laughs> and, and guess yeah. what? I'm gonna bring in the callers because I want to get y'all opinion because nobody in here is in the position of saying we are 100 percent right. This is a dialogue. This is a discussion, and I'm gonna be letting the callers get involved as well. I listen, am. When we come forward, we're gonna get Reza's take. On the last question I asked. You ready to call in, y'all? Ooh, Lord. Yeah, bro. Over 330 of y'all, make sure you're ready to call in. We have a uh, call that number right there. I apologize for picking a fight on both of y'all's behalf. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. I would love to hear you try to talk some of that mess you talk in front of slow pitch, regular old milk toast media white folks and black folks. Hey, I see y'all. Y'all stepping up. I see y'all stepping up. Y'all stepping up. Hey, I want to say this. Thank you to everybody that responded to the likes. Thank you to everybody that's showing their love, hitting the super chat. The channel appreciates it. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. It means a lot. It means you. It means you're gonna put fucking skin in the game. We got to start putting skin in the game if we respect things if we respect the brothers that are presenting this conversation we got to put some skin in the game that's it i appreciate each and every one of y'all for sharing your love for pre for, for showing your love and thank you for responding to the likes thank you so much Let's get it. Larry Elder. With love, bro. Let's oh, yeah, get it. Larry Elder. I yeah, love you remember Larry Jeff? Elder. You remember Jeff always calling you from a dice game or from from a dope dealing content? I used to call you on the phone like that purposely and send you to commercial all the time because you couldn't stand the heat. Bro, let's get it. Oh man, I let's would love it. I would love that. Man. Assemble two of your coons and meet us. <laughs> Assemble your coons. <laughs> Assemble your coons. Live in a minute. Live in one minute. Now this is Reason's segment. <laughs> what up, people? Zoe Appreciate y'all for being here. Make sure y'all follow our brothers. Go follow Zoe Williams. That's uh, yeah, right now, now, now. Like now, now. Mm, like brother Maurice said, "What's up?" By the way, tell Brother Maurice I said peace. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Make sure you get ready to call in, y'all. Call in. Oh, now, now. Uh, I can give you a couple of minutes. Yeah. Okay. Call in. Subscribe to ReasonIslam.com. All right. Look out for the next interview. They will come. But only if they follow Jeff Brown. Follow Zoe. Yes. At, at GB Funny Style is the Instagram that I can't get to work on this phone. And uh, Jeff TV. G E O F F space T E E V E. How do you spend your audio time on oh, smart you. speakers? Hey, Alexa. I'm Alexa. Play KBLA Talk 1580. Okay. Mm -hmm. Calling y'all. The other talk stations all day, all night, all white. And KBLA talk. All day, all night, all white. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sick? Yo, yo. That's a funky sample. Yeah. Wow. Come on, man. That playlist. Dude, you killing them. Beating them up. <laughs> oh, you did with this. Damn. How, how come we can't call from Vegas? How come we can't call from Vegas? <clears throat> Time to build my prop stack up. Real hip hop. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Make reason up. is Make in the up. building. <laughs> that record is called Know the Ledge. Yes. Which is knowledge. Yes. Yes. Rakim, Eric B and Rakim from the Juice soundtrack. Yes. Come on. Come on, man. All knowledgeable, conscious rap tonight because we having a real conversation. My brother Riza Islam is in the building. Yes, sir. And we were talking about expanding the relationship Messiah concept. In other words, the Messiah is the savior. A lot of people say, that's the savior, the Messiah, the one who's going to save us. Could the Messiah be within us as a tribe and mm -hmm. us working together collaboratively is the actual function of the messiah can it save us in the holy quran it says allah says he helps the people who helps themselves mm. the bible says 
faith without works is dead. Mm. In ancient Kemetic science and philosophy, it talks about the divine feminine and the divine masculine in the understanding of the principles of Ma'at. When it comes to anything dealing with us, the man and the woman, the masculine, the feminine, the male, the female, when it comes to having a savior, the Christians are looking for the Messiah. The Muslims are looking for the Mahdi or the self-guided one. Mm -hmm. What this means is the feminine side and the masculine side collectively are the savior Ooh. of the people. It is in Islam, it is in Christianity, it is in Judaism, it is in area, every area of spirituality, science, philosophy, you name it. No one will help us until we help ourselves. Mm. And no society can be built if it's groups of people, men and women, or men and women, masculine and feminine, are constantly in, are in a state of division and turmoil. No one will benefit except for your enemy who comes in during your time of division. So the Messiah... Yes, us as a people, if you want to look at it that way, is the twin side of the one God, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. When we come forward on this show, I'm going to talk about the men in our society who are as petty and as catty mm. as the women they claim bring them mm. all the drama. See, see, it's easy to say I'm mad at the sister because she integrated into mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. It's worse to act like her, though. Mm -hmm. How you going to be mad at her, Come but you, you was raised by her mm -hmm. and you act like what you say you don't like? How you going to be the dough for her petty case? Do Come you on. understand? I need brothers. Come on. To, they gotta unbewitch themselves. Come on. They've been <laughs> they've been hexed, yeah. right? How you mad at your primary caregiver? Mm. Yet you man. think you're a man, and you want to try to control with. Listen, you can't <laughs> control with a wallet that got checks in it that's signed by somebody else. Come on. Come on. Oh, Come on. see, I, uh, we got to talk to the brothers tonight because brothers really are mad at those who carried them. Mm -hmm. How do yeah. we fix that? Mm -hmm. When we come forward, Zoe Williams, the voice of reason, is on fire. I'm not going to play with y'all tonight. Come on. The phone lines are lit. We got from Los Angeles, Oakland, Texas, Kansas City, Call Baltimore. In, Everybody in. is in the building. Listen, man, if you wasn't raised by a true man, you've got some healing to do before you start dealing with her. Come on. Come on now, 1-800-920-1580 is the number to dial. When we come forward, more heat from the voice of reason. Mal masculinity. Mal uh, yeah. Oh, masculinity. yes, yeah. That's, that's malnourished masculinity. Yeah. Malnourished been, masculinity. You've been socially breastfeeding okay. too damn long. I got to move my car now. Gotcha. Okay, yes, sir, yes, sir. I can move it now? What is yours? Body, uh, that little, that little, yeah. They say we got to move. Okay, that's what mine is, too. Uh -oh. Hold on a second, y'all. I keep coming, hey. Hey, Regis people. Look here. I don't know how you feel about me saying it, uh, but it's really how I feel. You know how things come back to fight each other? Well, Malcolm X's energy was here in the sixth cycle. It's back. Come on now. Jeff Brown in the building. What made him walk right over here when I said that? Think about that. He <laughs> <laughs> said, uh, wait, what's your name again, Jeff? Oh, at GD Funny Style. GD Funny Style. Thank you, brother. Like that? Yeah. What's that? Okay, okay, make sure y'all follow Jeff Brown. So here's the thing. Where I located at the KBLA studio Black owned by Tavis Smiley. If you don't know who Tavis Smiley is, he is a legend. One of the only brothers who would bring together symposiums, uh, conferences of some of the greatest black minds that we have ever had. To have them discuss things in front of the world. The enemy came after him a number of times in a, in a number of ways. He kept bringing Minister Farrakhan on to the show in front of the world. They hated him. They hated him. So I want you to make sure you support hey, those people. Tavis Smiley. What's happening? Make sure you support uh, Tavis Smiley. Uh, make sure you support uh, KBL. Give you some Uncle Jeff's all-natural shea butter. 
That's what keeps my man, my skin looking so good. Besides all the shit I don't do. Uh, yeah. You got to. Yeah. Yo, what's happening, people? Uh, yeah, I gotta get, I'm gonna get a shot of me, brother Reese. That's a hot picture right there. Um. I'm just, I'm real proud of Zoe, and I don't take lightly what our social position is right now. It's, it's not a mistake that we started doing this shit uh, when we did and why we did. Uh, we are not afraid to be your voice. I'm not scared to die over this. We need change, y'all. And it's not a mistake that I'm 57 now with that big mama, big daddy logic now. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake that you are watching me from right there, right now. It is not a mistake that you are hearing from us about what politics really is right now. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake that you're hearing me tell you when you hear a politician speak and give you 200 words of bullshit, you stand up. You stand up next time you're in your church. You stand your black ass up and go, uh-uh. That's 200 words of nothing. If that's all you got, I'm not voting for you. Now, I don't know about the rest of these people in here, but I'm not voting for 200 words of nothing again. You're not getting my vote because you show up with some fucking hot sauce. If you don't have anything in your mouth that you're going to do directly for people who look like me, keep it pushing. And I mean tangibles. Where's the people? Uh, uh, you, you're taking a flick. You see, you I want to make sure that it's right there. Go. Yeah. Unless somebody got exactly what you need, exactly what talking about, exactly what you need on your block that you can count. That you can put in your hand, that you can put in your pocket, that you can put in your baby's mouth. If you don't have that, okay, wait a minute. What? Somebody said that come to the real Islam. What is what? What is the real Islam? What is the real Islam? Don't do it. Don't do it. What, what is it? How are you? I want to have some respect. I got the brother. Yes, okay, wait a minute. Sure your wife wait a minute. Uh, 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 yes, uh, excuse me, brother. Does Islam not mean to some, if I have that wrong? One who submits to do the will of God. One who submits to do the will of God. Are you questioning whether Brother Reason is doing the will of God because he don't do it the way your monkey ass likes? Oh, here we go. 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 Here I appreciate that. That's love. Go, go somewhere and drink bleach. <laughs> I love it. Get out of here with that. I love it. That's such an old argument. I'm like, y'all knock it off. Just stop it. It's okay. It's 2022. You better be lucky people even care to listen to, listen to talk about God right now. The world is. The world is. So this first segment. Yep. It's about seven and some change. Seven minutes and some change. Okay. The next segment, I should have told you guys this the first time. The next segment is the longest segment. It's about close to 17. It's like 16.45. Segment after that, little under 10 minutes. 
then the final two segments are four minutes apiece. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it the same way. This time, RZA is going to get the final or, or the, the four minutes before, and then you'll get the final four at the end. Okay. But we're going to have those breaks in between. As a matter of fact, this is what it looks like. I was about to ask. Yep. That's what it looks like. Those are all the breaks. And it's going to fly. Mm -hmm. oh, of course, bro. You know we do. I'm the dude to call. Light, y'all. Light. Become your cellmate. Because black love still exists. What are your bedroom turnoffs? Fantasies and fetish. Oh, Financial infidelity. I'm dating a bad person. Are they oh, worth God, let me get this Trust weird person off the crazy. Crazy. Yeah, you, you don't got no moderator? Oh, man. Okay. Is he still in there? No, he's not. Oh, okay. I just have so many questions I want to ask. Oh, I feel bad for people who don't have a life on their hands. Feel free to meet me in person. Whenever you see a fly up of an event, please show up in person. I always invite you. Trail has been committed. Put you with the bad pipes routine. How does he maintain his Well, look here. You could have DM'd him that shit. You really meant that. What you really want to serve was some attention that your monkey ass got. Now sit down. You're right. So Williams. Exactly. Larry. The voice of reason. See how, how long we have left? About 20 seconds? Oh, we in. We in. Uh -oh. uh, Are y'all ready to call me? Call me, y'all. Oh, I did the Ghetto Boys podcast. I did that. Well, YouTube Ghetto Boys podcast. It was dope. Make sure y'all call in. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, come on. Why do we have a black owned mm -hmm. station that's rooting for everybody black? Oh, come on. See, Tavis said, we rooting for everybody black. Come on. Mm. That means black people should have and cultivate a black centric view of the world now guess what we not gonna always agree right mm -hmm. this this is this is what gets uh, stuck in my craw every time you talk unity and you represent a particular belief system or dogma or whatever religion culture whatever somebody got to jump up and say well islam is this or hebrewism is that and everybody got to come in and try to make their perspective more important come on listen if perspective is equivalent to a facet like in a diamond. Mm, come on, come on. Wow. The diamond is deter its brilliance is determined by how many facets it has. Mm -hmm. The fewer the facets, the dimmer that diamond is. Mm -hmm. We need multiple facets from varying oppositional perspectives in order to approach a situation holistically. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why yours got to be more important? <laughs> Come on. And I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to throw it to my brothers, because we're talking about how relationship could and should be the Messiah for black unity. That's who we've been waiting on. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say this. All opinions are based on experiences. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. It's not the truth. It's your truth. Come on. But your truth becomes... Uh, elucidated irradiated when it comes into the light of other truths we form a larger beacon when there is respect for each other's truths That's a fact. Mm. now how can we get there mm -hmm. i'm gonna start with my brother reason first thing is we have to know ourselves and know exactly what our truth is mm. wow majority of people on the planet are out living someone else's truth come on and have accepted it as their own they have been controlled, dominated. They are easily led in the wrong direction. Hearts lead to the right direction. So the first thing you must do is you must accept your own and be yourself. Mm. Number one, number two, and number three. 
you will not be able to help your relationship when you are so busy being everyone else's and being in everyone else's. Mm. Being everyone else's and being in everyone else's. One major thing that I notice is the gossip has started to become this major money machine Come to on. where people talk and get money off of talking about other people's relationships, their family life, all of their the situations going on in their pocketbook, etc. Come on. People are banking on relationships failing. Banking on the drama. Promoting it. Oh, Lord. Promoting it. Come on, brother. Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Come on, break brother. Up and people start applauding. Why the hell are you celebrating people's relationships not working? Some people say, well, I didn't think it was real to begin with. The point is, it's none of your damn business. That's How about, about that? Thing. How yeah. about that? It's none of your business. I'll say it on the KBLA in radio. Uh, there's <laughs> none of your business is the point. And because of that, one, we should stop being so thirsty to post our business on the internet number one on an accountability tip Come on. and then number two we should stop caring about other people's opinions about what we have solidified and what we have come together in agreement with on our own come so there's on. two sides to this coin mm. because so many relationships are not even solid enough to cast them out into the world come so on. why are you going to throw your relationship out to a bunch of people who bank on failure because all they're used to is Ooh. failure come on brother they don't want you to succeed because they didn't succeed mm. and therefore i'll be there i'll be Darned if you go ahead and succeed and I <laughs> fail. It's, it's a very sick circumstance that we're dealing with. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the relationships that succeed. We should promote the fact that the majority of black men are married to black women. The majority of black women are married to black men. We should promote the idea and the realization that the majority of people in relationships are actually solid. Most people, but we only promote the divisiveness. We only promote the failures. We only promote the baby mamas and not the husbands, not the wives, not the successful families that have insurance, that have uh, livelihoods, homes, everything. Mm -hmm. We don't promote the successes because it's too much work and too many people are more so interested in anything that is quick and easy, which includes failing relationships. Mm -hmm. So let us continue to focus on what it is that helps and that which does not destroy. Wow, Jeff Brown. Uh, if you a dentist with raggedy teeth, <laughs> <laughs> if you a plumber, <laughs> And your house smell like sewage. If you a mechanic and your car don't start, Come on. how you going to work on my car? Come on. How you going to fix my teeth or my Come toilet? On. Number two, the next time that you find yourself in a debate, an argument with a black person you know or don't, respect or don't, like or don't, love or don't, start here, brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on what we agree on first Correct. Correct. and work backwards from that positive nucleus. Correct. Mm. And duplicate. And number two, start asking this question regardless to how stupid the individual is in front of you. Come on. Have you ever considered the possibility that because the situation we are in is so foul that maybe both of us are right? <laughs> Ooh, listen, when we come forward, I'm we gonna talk to callers. Are y'all with talking to callers? I gotta call in. We gonna call hey, we hey, we're ready to talk to the callers. When we come forward, the voice of reason is on fire. Reza Islam, as well as my brother Jeff Brown, set it off mansions come in on. the building. They said the line is so busy. Because of how many people so many of you are calling in. That the line is busy. The line is busy. So what's going to happen is, as I cycle through them, the line is going to open, and whoever is next is going to get in. Y'all heard that, right? So there are so many people in now. So as each person calls in and they hang up, the line will open up again and again. Uh, man, I appreciate y'all for coming in. Stay on. Stay on. Because the phone is not working, so the number is 1-800-920-1580. Yes. And the reason why it's saying that the number isn't working is because the lines are full. Gotcha. Okay. So, so as right we number. drop them, that's what's going to happen. It's Which right will number. not always be. But here's what has to happen. We want you to do business with us the same way you should do business with your brother. As in, they didn't go to Wharton Business School. Right. As in, uh, uh, this is Brother Tavis's station. And soon, the lines will be that way. But until they are, we're going to need y'all patience and need you to love us through this. All right? Come on, y'all. Come on. Can y'all hit that sh a super chat button? All my moderators, thank everybody 
for hitting the super chat. Show your love. Everybody hit the super chat. We got 450 likes so far. I'm I'm appreciative of that. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. Please continue to support. Please continue to support, 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 support. Twos and fuse is what I call it. If you got two, three, whatever, share what you can share. We appreciate it. So if you're a CPAP user and you have Medicare, staying healthy with new CPAP equipment is easy. Just make this free phone call right now to get started. Sponsored by Specialty Medical. By the way, this angle is ghetto. <laughs> it's a ghetto angle. Like, uh, I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> You know who he looked like? Yeah, remember the bootleg movies back in the day when the dude would take the camcorder to the oh, movie house? Call the movie theater. And then, and then right in. when it gets to the good part, he'd go, watch this right here. Oh, my God. Hey, this is that angle from the bootleg movie, right? Right? Hey. <laughs> right? This is my part right here. Oh, my God. Eight hundred nine two zero fifteen eighty three. Right. Uh, I don't know. There that, we go. That sounds sound about right. That sound about right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm bouncing down Crenshaw to go buy some shea butter. <laughs> Shout out to Ice Cube. Yes, sir. Woo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of reason is on fire. I told y'all I was just getting started. You take requests? Man, I got a whole I got a whole playlist set up. Okay. This is, listen, man, let me shout out Ice Cube, man. Yes, sir. Happy birthday, Ice Cube. June 15th, Gemini in the Gemini pantheon of the greatest MCs to ever. You, you got to understand, Geminis are the greatest in hip hop. If you just, <laughs> if you just, if you just list out all the Geminis, you'd be like, wow, that's Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Uh, Gemini. Yeah, come on. It's the, it, it's the music of communication. And Cube was one of those brothers, man that came through at a time where we needed to hear a different voice. That's a fact. But, but one specifically from here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Man, so shout out to Ice Cube, man. We appreciate that. The phone lines are completely jammed. We're going to get some callers in here right now. Let's start with Sean from Oakland. Sean, you're Old on the town. line. Talk Old to town. us. Not a problem. What a shock.
I don't know why this is happening. They don't think of it as why it's happening. They're thinking, I'm just looking at the world as it's presented to me. So if you present it to them as there's no um, inequities, then that's why it's such a big FN problem. See, I didn't cuss. That's right. That's I, right. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that everyone, now you keep, you guys are on the, I just love this conversation because I will tell my white brothers and sisters, they're not allowed in my family if you're not anti-racist, if you're not anti-sexist, and if you don't, if you just lie, no, you can't be in my family because my mother taught me those things. Mm. So it, it, it really depends on white folks to get this message out to other white folks so we can all live in harmony. Because it went, I don't, I'm not a religious person, but I know inshallah, God willing, that's how we all should be thinking about it. All right, all right. There well, Sean, I appreciate you as usual. Thank appreciate you for calling Sean. in. Thank you so much. Let's get to James in Los Angeles from NorCal to Southern Cal. James, talk to us. Come on, James. Hey, thanks a lot, gentlemen, for allowing me to speak my mind. Well, all I can say is that our background for men coming from Southern California is what you played not too long ago, but a few minutes I used to listen to that hardcore rap. Changed a lot of mindset for brothers. Everybody stopped being hoes from the night and became that thug mentality. And from the gang violence to crackheads to the gimmick to shooting at will, wild, wild west, it took our mindset and took our women away from us. Now that we're trying to regain that composure, it's hard because a lot of brothers, we made a lot of mistakes. Mm. A whole lot of mistakes. Right. So now we have to pick up the pieces. But the sisters are still there. The young brothers are really stepping up trying to bridge that gap. But we still, those who have made it are not passing it back down the line. They have to stay in a certain, a certain mindset and arena because if they help the masses, they will be ostracized. And then we have people who's jumping on the right who's going off on people of color like Candace Brown, this chick, who is this sister? She's out there spitting all this villain. Then uh, she got so much hate against the Democrats. Stay within your own and work to get up. Not go on the other side and make them feel like they're better than us. Candace Owens? So, you know, you're talking about Owens. Candace Owens, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Correct. Owens. Okay. Well, she's the hypocrite among all hypocrites. Well, brother, she let me just say this. Up. Let me just say this, brother, because we got so many callers. I appreciate you for hanging on the line for as long as you've been on the line. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. And always no thank you for the insight. Appreciate yes, you, James. All right, James, that you brought right, Los Angeles into the building. That's a fact. Yes, sir. All right, let's keep it pushing. We got so many callers on the line. I need you guys to keep it short and brief. Let's go to Mike from Kansas City. Mike from Kansas City, talk to me. Yeah, the, the problem is that we view one another through the lens of white supremacy. Mm, there you go. Uh, and all all the negative things associated with that. And the reason why we do that is because we don't understand the satanic and historical current impact of white supremacy on black go. people. Here we go. Come, Come on, man. Come on, Doc. And, and, you know, we don't know our own history outside the period of becoming prisoners of war. Come on. Because we are, in fact, prisoners of war. That's fact. Okay? The truth... <clears throat> Truth liberates. It does, but the legislation against critical race theory, you know, they immediately enacted that, and that was to ensure that the truth will never be told to our children. You know, how do, how do we deal with that? How do we deal with that reality? That's all I got. Um, Man. Beautiful. Thank I gotta, you. Bro. I got an answer for that. Thank you so much for the call. Kansas City is in the building because of you. What's the answer, Jeff? Uh, stop letting your oppressor teach your children. Come on. Come then on. There's that. I, I don't give a fiddler's finger what little white kids know. But see, but you, you got to understand. Not important. Education is like designer jeans. Mm. <laughs> right? It's like Yeezys. Come on. Come on. Do you understand? Sure. Do, ask any black person who got the highest level of, of uh, education, who provides the highest level. The Ivy League. Ooh. Exactly. That's because ain't no Ivy League in you. Ooh, come on. See, 
Self-knowledge yes. is your Ivy League. Yes, correct. But you let the Ivy League mm -hmm. translate your original story yes. and make you the heel in the story. Right. You sent your children off to Rome and got pissed off when they came back as a group of Romans. <laughs> That's Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Wow. Okay. Come on. Come on. So, again. Come on. Krishnamurti. I bring him up all the time. Mm -hmm. It is no measure of health to be fully integrated into a sick society, but you depend on the sick society to answer all of that which ails you. Come on. Come listen. Come on. Listen, you a man cuz the man Said signs so. your check. Come on. <laughs> the manhood comes from somewhere other then what you do? I, Manhood is about who you are. Come on. Look here. Look here. If you want this, a, the, the, this is a yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop the memory bubble. Pop the memory <laughs> there bubble. There we go. A few minutes ago, a brother was asking about how to get respect, and this is to the brothers who are in this situation or see yourself toward it, where you with a woman, she got all the money and you don't. Come on. There are a hundred other reasons to respect you. And not on that list is going to the Super Bowl on Madden while she's at work. <laughs> she doesn't care. She doesn't care how many German soldiers you killed in Call of Duty. Come on, my brother. Come on, my brother. She doesn't care. Find a way to make that woman respect you. While she is at work, is anything broke in there? Come on. Mm. Come on. Is she having issues getting the super to fix something? Come on. Put on your house shoes and your khakis. Get your hair full of sunflower seeds and go talk to the super. Come on. Mm. That's Come on. what you need to do. You better figure out, brother, how to play without the ball. Come on. Learn how to build. If the ball is money, then you need to be diving for loose balls, bro. Come on. You need to find a way to garner respect that has nothing to do with how many how much money you have in your bank account Come or on. how many sit-ups you do. Come on. Ooh, you Come think on. you think being in alignment with society's <laughs> politics Come on. trump the politics of your house. Come on. Ooh. Come on. When Ooh. are you gonna author the politics of your house, sir? Woo. I'm talking about sir, mister, right. Mr. Man. <laughs> the politics of your house should trump the politics of society. Although you respect yes. the, the society in which you live, you should have some politics at the crib that come from self-knowledge. Yes. But if you don't have self-knowledge, you go out into the world respecting the world, thinking if I do what the world told me to do, I'm going to be okay. Now watch this, as that applies to democracy. Come on, come on. When will black people mm -hmm. hold democracy to the litmus test mm -hmm. of what Albert Einstein said? Mm -hmm. Insanity on. is doing the same mm -hmm. thing over and over and again and expecting different results. results. Come on, black man. So now, when y'all gonna say, wait a minute, democracy. Come on. Wait a minute, Democratic Party. Come on. When y'all going to do something different than what you've been doing? When, I'm just asking. When there is a damn actual result of doing the same wrong thing over and over again. I'll say it this way. The Chinese, for example, took effeminate Chinese males off of Whoa, television. Come on, wait, wait, man. hold on, hold on. He about to cook. Listen, when we come, come forward, we go to break. break. Yes, we go right pick there. up right there. Right when we come there. forward. Rizza Islam is going to start oh right there. God. He's going to start yeah, with a new. The VOR is on fire tonight. We Black coming forward. Always late. Come on, bro. <laughs> hold yes. on. Yes. Hold on. I'm in the middle. <laughs> Hell no. <enough. laughs> Come on. Boy, well, all right. I'm, okay. That's what happens when we get together. <laughs> right. When we, when myself, <laughs> Jeff Brown, and Miss, a brother, Zoe Williams, no, the man. voice of reason, <laughs> when we get together, this is when we start getting blocked. Yeah, that's Again. what happens. <laughs> yeah.
sparking too many uh, intellectual conversations. Come on, you man. You asked God to speak to you today. <laughs> Come on, man. You asked to hear a word from God today. Man. Well, guess what? He picked us for It's just not planned. Come on. I need the speaker to play out so the callers. For some reason, this dude thought different. Yeah, I just don't hear the volume on it. Which one? Probably one of these. I'm not sure. For some reason. Man, that's uh, my headphones. Nine years old this is, uh, and go, why are we sharp? I think these the are reasons out? headphones. This For might some be reason, Come on. this brother has been spitting wisdom since before he had a driver's license. That said, he and said it had that to do with the mic or something. is right but I'm not sure. damn now. Come on. Because well, otherwise, you're still able to hear it, all right? Yeah, well, I just man. put my headphones there, man, but right. I can't what hear it. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you can't hear me when I'm talking uh, to you? Uh, not when you're talking to me, no. You see what I'm saying? If we could get another pair of headphones dedicated to this, then the problem is solved. I like run. Let's get it in the 500. That's a fact. That's a fact. Let's, uh, let's get it in the 500. I really, I, I would, I welcome, I want to pick up a medium fight. Who want it? Oh my God. Who want it? I'm not going to pick Hey, this ghetto. Hey, I know somebody from Fox News watching. Who want it? Where y'all at? Who want it? You Too many people in here just sitting back. Support this it? channel. You know what you got to do? Support this damn channel. Make sure. I got another one. Oh, yes, we do. Maybe. That's where it's at. My bad, I'm sorry. Oh, so we do got a jack, right? I need to get another one. Oh, another uh, 3 8? Yeah. Make sure you listen to KBLA. Black on radio. Hey, we lit tonight. We lit tonight. And we deserve your support because the shit is too fire. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's too fire. You're not going to hear this nowhere else. Come on. Fire. That's a fact. Hey, y'all put the fist up if y'all enjoying the show, man. All those black fists up. Oh, man. Come on. The 85 South show. Soon as yes, soon as we come back, hey. Rizzo, you gotta pick up right there. <laughs> Speaking of the uh, uh, 85 South show, and there you fast forward to where Brother Lisa is talking about. What and then I just sit it around. Yeah. There we go, y'all. But I can own the block. And then I can invest in a plumbing company and have them do all the plumbing. It's hard to believe it's been here. And we couldn't have done it without you. We'll have prizes, giveaways. This knowledge. But we got people that don't respect knowledge. We got people that don't respect wisdom. We got people that don't respect insight. What they respect is drama. What they respect is pettiness. What they respect is disrespect. Come on, man. Come on. That's what drives you to. That's why... I got 72,000 subscribers, but only 400 people in here. Anytime, That's why, man, come on, man. you are expecting the aliens to save you from the handmaid's tale. Oh, come on. That's really what we're hoping. Come on. We're hoping a natural disaster happens before the handmaid's tale. Come on. Come on. That's what you at. That's a fact. Go to breatheinfinity.com. That's a fact. Please, God, let a meteor hit this some bitch before the handmaid's tale. <laughs> Ah. Everybody hit that super chat button. Show your love. Everybody go to YouTube right now. Go to the Zo What Show on YouTube. Zo What Show right here. Zo What Show on YouTube. Yo, hit the like button. Just comment. Let the people know. Is to call in and expand in. economic development opportunities about to get back on. for African American business owners. Yes, sir. The state of this is crazy tonight. The the black black man 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 to come on, man. Oh, hey, Rick Reason. I'm finna get out your way. You know what, man? I'm not used to that. I'm chopped in the air. Give us an extra minute. Next time. We good? Like other businesses. What's our time? Manhood is missing man. You have in a minute. Like music. 60 seconds. Music. Oh, man, come on. See now, okay, if you can't get through it, it's because the line is backed up because so many people have already called in. Call in in a few minutes. Once you hear us have a conversation, and then we hang the phone up on that person calling to be able to get in. The California Black Chamber of Commerce has created a new campaign. Yeah, people calling in, and I'm telling you, they call it. I appreciate y'all.
Right. We appreciate y'all. We, we appreciate y'all. But a lot of y'all young. You don't remember when you used to call into a radio station to win some shit? Oh, shit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Signal. That's right. That's right. That's right. Signal. That's right. I won. That's right. Go. You got to keep just calling back. That's a fact. That's a fact. Sit tight, y'all. Sit tight. Same number. Yeah. 800. Tell your homies to watch this show. You can visit the KBLA 1580 website. So William, now I want y'all to go back and watch all and of the past episodes right that now. Brother Jeff Brown was on. That you I was, was on. on. Corey was oh, on. Man. Myself, Corey Lonson, Joe Williams, Jeff Brown, all of us together. Crazy. On a couple episodes. Not enough time. Crazy. Not enough time. Yes. People were in there flipping out. this message. It's a reason you don't see this big. Right <laughs> come on, come on. We're back on, y'all. We're back on. You think, it's a, mistake? You think it's a mistake Thomas did this? Come on. Black now. Out. Yo, Chris, what you doing out of school? Yo, man, they just suspended me, big boo. Well, they suspended the teacher? Yeah, man, I'm getting so sick of this, man. They teaching us about nothing, man. You know what the bottom line is for black people out here? It's quite simple. You must learn. Hip hop. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just get right to it. Reza Islam was dropping bombs before we came forward, before we came full circle. We're having a great conversation about community, about what work needs to be done, about what some of the problems are. And again, Nobody is coming from the positionality of being 100% correct. That's not the purpose of the discussion. But the reality of it is, if you're not having this kind of discussion at least two times a week on your own, on. then how are you developing and cultivating answers to the problems that face not only you, but the entire community? Reza, what were you about to say before we went away? <laughs> Man, I'll say this way. Number one, we were discussing when it comes to the lack of masculinity in manhood and the lack of manhood in manhood, mm. causing a circumstance where the woman is being blamed for virtually everything. The woman virtually has no man to come home to because he has become a very shadow of himself. I was discussing how China removed the images of effeminate males from their TV screens, from their movies, from their promotional videos, commercials, from their billboards they do not allow their men to be broadcasted in their nation if they look too effeminate why because when you are a entity a nation an empire the one thing you do not want to do is show weakness of your military weakness of your man weakness of your security why because other nations will be able to conquer you easily or at least that will be the appearance when your woman comes home and she sees you on a video game, I love video games. I've been playing video games since I was younger. I stopped playing them a while ago. But at the same time, we are currently at war in war. And we are not in a position to where we can relax as if we really have made so much progress to where we can clock out for a little while. We have to get back to training. We have to get back to exercising. We have to get back to doing things that actually build us up as men. We have less than 50% of the testosterone that we had 20 years ago. Mm. We have Ooh. less money than we had 20 years ago. Mm. We have less houses than we had 20 years ago. Ooh. There are less marriages, although there are still majority black men married to black women, etc. but the marriages are still less. We have more diseases creeping up into our areas. We are dying at a younger age. We are not making as much progress as we we think so we are not in the position as men to be justified as men because the world doesn't see us as men because we are now a very shadow of the men that we were originally we have to get back to our position of manhood as true kings and that's my point when you see point. a man gossiping come on you uh. see you, you i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> come on when you see a man gossip come on that is not a man who is rooted in divine masculinity. That's a fact. That is a man that is rooted in something he mimicked from a woman that he talked crap about. 
Come on, mm. come See, on. What real men do in the presence of those type of women, they either raise them up or run them off. Come on, come on. That's do you, it. That's it. They that's either it. raise them up or run them off. But when you see a man gossiping, come on. When you see a man uh, blaming, see, part of manhood is accountability. Mm -hmm. I told my son we was 16. You remember this? Yes, sir. I said man is an acronym for manifest answers now. Now. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Do you want to manifest answers now? What does that mean? That don't mean you always going to come up with an answer, come but on. you should always be in pursuit of one. That's a fact. That's part of provision. Come on. Come Do you on. understand? Listen, I don't care how safe you are. Mm -hmm. in your your little nook of society where you know you got your little check and everything seems to be okay let me tell you something that is the matrix and illusion that was set up by your boss mm -hmm. come on Ooh. Come do you on. understand <laughs> that come was on. set up by your boss come on and ah. until you become your boss come on let me tell you something we sick come on yeah, <laughs> yeah. use a we sicker Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's a wee sickle? <laughs> you right. You the wee sickle. <laughs> we sick boss. Come on. I need to do whatever I can do to keep this situation going or my whole thing crumbles. Come on. Come you on. afraid of an illusion crumbling? Mm. Real masculinity understands the unknown. But if you trying to keep everything safe, what's the difference between you and a woman's request? for security. The black man has become addicted to the American mammy. Ooh. Now we are on the mammary gland of the American breast. Come on, man. The same way we used to have them on our breast to feed them and make them strong and maintain them is the same way we as black men are now stuck on the breast of America. Oh. We gotta get off. I see you gossiping, I know what you are. Come on. Woo, I oh. see you gossiping. I know what you are. Come on. <laughs> Jeff. Look, look here. Okay, uh, uh, I'm going to take you on a ride. It's going to be worth the trip. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got Should I come full calls. We, go? okay, we got on, three okay. minutes and full calls. Calling y'all. Okay, uh, this happened to a male relative of my house. We were at his house. Come on. And there was an incident between him and his wife that involved my mother. Mm-hmm. And his wife got upset with him. They were in the room. They was talking. All of a sudden, we hear furniture moving. Mm. She come out. And I go, all right, I need all the men in that room now. All the men came in. My mother came in. I mm. said, I'm going to need you to align yourself with God. Are you supposed to be in here now? Mm. Come on. I did come call on. it. The, that's in the book. You come on. Let me show it to you in the book. Come on. Come all on, right. Jeff. Then mama with love, I'm going to need you to excuse yourself. <laughs> and then... Uh, and this was a big, we had a whole, whole family over there. And uh, my, my, my dude go, what do you think? I said, brother, this is entirely your fault. And everybody went, what, what do you mean? I said, brother, did your, did your wife tell you I want to talk to you right now? Hey. Yes. I said, well, you know what you should have did as the king of this castle? Come you should have came out and went, family. My wife has something that apparently is on her mind that cannot wait in spite of all of this that we have put out for you. So I need everybody to get your coats, mm. get up, Come and on. I'll call you later. Come on. And then when they leave, you go, now, queen, you have my undivided attention. That's right. After she has cooked all this food Come on. and laid all this out Come for on. all these people, Come and on. you shut that down as man, I promise you, number one, you've made a move as king, and number two, you'll never have to make that move again, and you didn't raise your voice. That's right. Everything that happens in your house is your fault, or you are not the leader, period. Come on. Come here on. we go. Come on. Let's get these callers in here. Bowman Calling from Grand up. Prairie, Texas, get in here. Come on. What's up, sir? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. What up, man? There are many interpretations of how the Messiah has taught us, but I'm going to come from this interpretation. The Messiah once said that he came not to bring peace, but the sword. Yeah. So mm. I think we need to be going back and forth, male and female, arguing amongst ourselves about who's in the wrong, because our enemies are constantly plotting on us with precision. Let me say this. Mm. Patrick Henry said, give me liberty, give me death. But I say, give me freedom, or give me, or it's death. 
because we don't have time to be living in a world of the aristocracy where there's boundaries. Liberty, I don't want a world of liberty. I want a world of freedom for my people. Let me say this, bro. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, because we ahead. we'd like 20 seconds, but go ahead. Okay. Caucasian people watch the police interact online for whatever their reason. However, because this country is in shambles and the chickens have come home to roost, they're scrambling to figure out how they can overcome the future atrocities that their people have committed in, on this, in this country. Mm -hmm. Thank they you. They us to listen to her followers and the black men and women. And as much as they tried to destroy us, they still see that we exist. Really, what am I saying? Black men and women in America are the lights of the world. So when we move and when we choose to move, Even the Listen, Bowman, even though I said 20 seconds, you went to 25, 35, 40 <laughs> seconds. Come on, Bowman. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. I heard your point. Thank you so much. You brought Grand Prairie, Texas in the building. The Grand Grand Prairie. Prairie. Man, I, we got so many callers. I'm going to Phoenix. I'm going to Detroit. I'm going back to L.A. And Come again, on. I have not forgotten Baltimore. We're going to Baltimore. Listen, we got to get these callers in. The Voice of Reason is cooking tonight. <laughs> Man, look. <laughs> look. Y'all calling in. Y'all coming in from everywhere. Okay. I don't know if y'all really want to chase this manhood, man, because here it comes. How many brothers? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm not a mechanic. I don't need to be. Uh, uh, you don't need to be a mechanic when your wife's car break down. But if your ass ain't looking for the solution harder than her, uh, uh, God got a special place in hell for you if you let your woman come down. Uh, there's certain stuff that I understand that you haven't seen. So you you don't know how to do it. You need to find this. This is why, uh, dear brothers, if you if you know if you know uh, the any heartbreak lyrics, if you know lyrics to new edition songs from the nineties, and you don't have no gray hair, you suspect. Nigga, you was there with me. I know you know. I know you know all the words of cooling now, and you ain't got no damn gray hair. These youngsters need to know this is a beacon. Of wisdom. This means you cannot know me and roll up and go, oh gee, I got a problem. If I'm trying to look like you, that's what happened when my son was 17 and I got a bunch of black and boo for free and he lost his mind. Oh god, dad, they didn't even came out yet. Oh man, I'm gonna, I said, you know what? Take the whole box. Quit playing. You can have it all because when I walk up, I don't want to be dressed like you and your friends because I can't get no respect difference between you and your friends dress like you and your friends stand up man that's what the free pussy is about some of y'all out here taking pussy is she taking out trash you're stealing it are you between 18 and 26? <laughs> <laughs> we done put Reese. I don't know if y'all was going to say that you had on Reese's. But look, <laughs> stand your man ass up, man. Transform my life. That's well, a fact. Help us on the way. Every black Transform man who plays video games should coming. know how to work Saturday, on a car. At least, at least know how to it's change a tire. At least know how to change the fan belt. At least know how to change the brakes. At least know how to change the oil. At least know how to fill up the car. You made a car in GTA, didn't you? <laughs> we all should. We all should. Plus, you get a I know how to change the tires, how to check, at least check the oil, check the prices, get the brake fluid, check all of that, and then change the things. And, 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 and buy you some old cars. I'm working on it. Buy you an old car. I don't have a car older than 19, a younger than 1998. I don't. Maybe I can't fix what's wrong with it, but you can't lie to me about it. Come on. <laughs> you can't buy a bug. Buy a Volkswagen bug. The bug is the truth. The bug is the key to the future until they make all cars electric. One is super cheap. You can work on it with home tools. Number two. Number two. There we go. Perfect. The parts are plentiful because they made millions. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to call her break. Get you a bug. Don't lie. No more break. Oh, snap. Only on KBLA Talk 1580. Calling, y'all.
Here we go. Somebody said, set this catch on fire. Some of them have a suit. Call him, yo, we're back on right now. The whole nation is listening right now. Come on. The whole nation is turned up right now in this conversation. Come on. Before I get to the calls, I just got to say a couple of quick things. Yes, sir. Is the black man lazy in general? I'm going to say no. Absolutely not. Black men are never lazy when it comes to working. But I posit that he might be lazy when it comes to self-work. Mm -hmm. Is a race car mm -hmm. slow because it's off? <laughs> you, you hear what I'm saying here? He, he slays, he's lazy when it comes to self-work. Self Come on. Come on. Do you understand? And I mean this liter literally and figuratively. Yes. Never besmirch a book you haven't read. Come on. Come on. I'm talking about the book of yourself, Come on. the book of your brother, Come on. the book of who raised you. Teach. Never besmirch a book you haven't read. Mm. See, again, this is why we're addicted, in my opinion, to the stimulation of entertainment versus the satisfaction mm -hmm. of internal growth. Yes. Yes. Ouch. Do you hear yes. me? Ouch. Oh, let's get come. Let's get them in here now. Let's get them in here. It's, it's so Call many in, people. Call in. Nemesha from Phoenix, Arizona is on the line. Nemesha, come on in. Hi guys, it's Naima. Naima, well they spelled it wrong, I'm sorry. My son's name is Naeem. There you go. Bro. So they spelled it wrong, okay, it's cool, Naima. No, no worries, no worries, no worries, peace brothers. Um, what I wanna say in regards to what you guys said tonight is this here. The first thing that I believe that needs to happen is that our brothers need to get therapy. Um, it's been, mm -hmm. you, you yep. know how I, I put policy therapy, but it's time for our brothers to find out who dropped you. What the fuck woman dropped you, hurt you so bad to where you couldn't come back to where every other woman after them, including your daughter, is paying for it. Mm. Find out who dropped you, get help for it, and then also find out and realize within yourself that in order to be a real strong person, period, you have to first be weak and be weak unto die. Be submit yourself unto the most high mm -hmm. and, and, and the most high will guide you on how to treat your mate. Because if your lady is acting out and at a ten and you can't break her to a two, then that's a that's a problem you you need to work out in the mirror within yourself mm. because if she's acting like that and she's wah 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 it's only because she doesn't feel safe or secure Come on. we don't care about money we don't care about titles we don't care about any of that we care when the enemy comes to knock on our door are you going to stand in front of us and be prepared right to protect us and defend us not just with a gun but with your whole body Right. Because that's what you were put in our life for. And as far as the women, women, we have sisters, we have to stop saying the lie that we don't need a man. That is a lie. We are the only race of women who spit that rhetoric. And it's an outright lie. Get them, Mama. Come on, come on, Mama. We need y'all. We need y'all. Because I guarantee you, if they kick your door in right now, you're going to wish you had a strong black man standing behind that door saying, you got to come through me first. Come on, come on. Me my kids and my woman. So stop saying you don't need a man and allow that man to be vulnerable enough to say I'm hurt, man. I can't hold it no more because our brothers go through PTSD worse than any soldier at war. Come on. We've seen this from the time they came out the war. So be, be, be gentle to that. Be empathetic to that. Even though we don't understand their plight, we see their pain and we have to give up to them. We come have on. to let them come home and lay it down and take off the mask and say it's okay to cry in my lap and not hold it against them. That's Naima. Naima, thank you. Let him be a man. 
Naima, yes. thank you so yes. much. We got to move forward. We <laughs> got so many callers. But oh. Naima, you cooked. Come you on. cooked with grease. Come on. Yeah, come we on. got fish grease marks yeah. all somebody, over. Somebody <laughs> got popped with some grease just now. And she's 100% right, man. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Sage, Detroit, Michigan, in the building. Sage, get in here, but keep it brief. Um, okay, so I just have a quick question. Um, I hear my echo on it. Um, uh, regarding uh, program 131. Regarding what? Program Take that one. Well, get, yeah, give it, you, you both can. Yeah. Reza and then Jeff. Um, um, sis, it is number six hundred and eighteen thousand nine hundred and twenty-two on your importance list. I understand <laughs> that it is important, but uh, it is way down. What you are talking about is the equivalent of trimming your grass perfectly while your house is on fire. The the, the concept that this, I'm sure this is important somewhere, but to you as a black woman, you should be focusing on how to get around without being seen electronically. <laughs> how many apples does it take to get your horse downtown should be where, where you at with this. Any systematic uh, uh, planning of or doing of, we need people over there that are already doing that. The rest of us need to be here. Mm. Okay, okay, because there's so many callers, and then uh, Reza, and then I'm jumping back to the caller. Just really quick, I just uh, I believe um, one part of that that she that sister was alluding to was a reminiscent circumstance called Rex 84, where mm -hmm. they were setting up ways to trap the people in the case of an emergency, where the military would be able to come in during the case of riots and thus revolting against the police or racist, domestic terrorists, etc. I will say, sister, one, make sure you prepare and train. Make sure the young men you have with you or the men you have with you train, exercise, find out the entryways, exit. It's how many streets you have, how many lights, how many houses, yes. and then how where the freeways are, where the hospitals are, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and get people on your block to come together in the case of an emergency for self-defense. Who worked for the city? Get your uncle that worked for the city. Tell him to get some blue, old blueprints. Blueprints. Yes. Y'all need to know how to how to open a manhole cover on Adams and come out over off of Normandy. Get off of social media. Yes. How about that? Stop letting celebrities tell you what your relationship goals should be and start digging into the wounds that your generation has provided to you in this life as a generational task and not a curse. Mm -hmm. See, you were born to fix what many generations couldn't fix. Yes. This is why it keeps coming up in your relationships. <laughs> Stop talking about what you deserve mm -hmm. and start dealing with what you were served mm -hmm. with. Come on. You Ooh. were served with something and now you've got to do the work to undo it. Come on. See, you want to be spiritual when it's convenient. <laughs> you, you, you understand Christ what I'm saying? Christ it's, Christ it's, Christ it's, it's spiritual. It's convenient spirituality. But let me tell you this. Convenient crystals. Put we just started the conversation. What are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. Follow Jeff Brown. Follow Reza Islam. Coming up next, we got, of course, Danny Morrison and Robin along with news. We started the conversation. You finish it. The VOR was crazy tonight. Man. Man, it is never the same. Make sure you follow Zoe Williams on YouTube. 
subscribe to his show. Follow Jeff Brown, G O F F. Yes, yes. Uh, make sure you follow him on YouTube uh, at. GB Funny Style. GB Funny yeah, Oh, yes, absolutely. Fire show tonight. We appreciate Mr. you guys. Thank you. Mr. Z oh, on... At